Sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen here on T3, but today we're going Game Pass and we're playing Maneater. Now understand, the developers want you to believe that this is an RPG. Well, so they call it a Shark PG. Okay, so you're going to, apparently we have these bounty targets, these human beings that are after us, and we're not going to stand for it. Okay, we're going to eat everything in our path. We want everything basically shredded into scrap pieces. Uh, you want to make sure you eat and eat and eat until you can't eat no more. And I am tired of people. Hey, so you got evolutions. You can equip new fins and tails and organs. Uh, you obviously, I skipped past the first opening scene. It's a, yeah, it's a tiny spoiler. I tried, you know, I don't really like care for spoilers as far as like, okay, yeah, I don't want to spoil you, but I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. But it is. It is a very sensible thing. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, you know, you, you can eat them, and then you thrash them. Okay, I thrashed them with the right stick. Now, as you can see, we gain resources. And if you scan the area, you can see which fish gives what resource, or what marine life that you're going to brutally murder and access as this crazy mutation of an evolution bull shark goes around and just and just gobbles up the wildlife it's not you know i'm surprised PETA hasn't got in now that's something you want to be careful obviously i might be able i obviously i could definitely win the fight with the alligator but right now we're worried about and we're focused on moving forward in progress and that's not progress in my mind okay as another thing that we like to eat is uh caches there's different caches of uh goods and resources for leveling of your shark okay obviously if we want to level up our sonar we click it here and as you can see it's asking for uh it looks like 8,000 dna strands right there okay and now we're only at 74 12 so we obviously can't do the fucking up here all right i don't want to go to the screen and you made me okay okay so for the most part you can out swim the alligators you can fight them there's a dodge button okay you know this is dark souls this is the age of dark souls this is basically the dark souls of the ocean except you don't drop your shit when you die so it's a little more forgiving, but it's it's a oceans it's a sh it's a sh souls like underwater, okay underwater souls like very similar. It's like a, the the spin off of the swimming part in Sekiro. Sekiro. Okay, so we'll probably have to go on land to acquire this. The game will tell you very quickly early that you can't be a shark out of water. Okay, you start to lose health. And then you just, you know, you go right back in. No big deal. Okay. But there's collectibles, obviously. You know, we're actually a fish out of water trying to get license plates for some reason. And they're very big. Okay. Um, this swamp here is just polluted in every regard. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to have your friends swimming in this actual lake here. There could be a lot of issues for just health issues. Okay, we're gonna go to our log here, and what do we need to do? We gotta kill groupers. We're just killing groupers. I gotta consume ten humans. Now that sounds fun. Okay, let's go do that. Let's not get distracted. That's the main thing. We just want to try not to get distracted. A distracted gamer is might as well just find himself not gaming. And it's better to find a hobby like knitting or. Underwater basket weaving. Something like that. Outside of that. I think I just saw another predator. But we're going to ignore him for now. As we are in collection mode. Yep. Alligator. See? It's nice. They give you a few updates on the game. They let you know, give, you, give you some fun facts about animals. It's always nice to have in a game. Oh yeah, turtle. Good night. With the series X and S updates now, with this game, you're obviously getting that that fidelity that you've been. Oh, we got a barracuda. 
It is still nighttime, so it's a little dark. Might be a little hard for the video, for you to see the video as you're watching it here. Uh, that would be my fault, actually. Uh, the way I planned the video was very uh, shoddy and haphazard. There was a lot of, it was very haphazard, uh, you know, the, the manner in which. Okay. Oh, we got some grouper. There's a grouper here. Hey, buddy. Have the boon smoon. You son of a bitch. Now, groupers are all, you know, they're going to give you, look, 42 oils, essential oils, whatever that is. But here's obviously a quest. They're marking it for us. But there's an alligator. Okay, not this time. We got barracudas and alligators here. You want to try to man maneuver around them? You have a little tail flick that you can use to disorientate. But, oh, see, you want to use that Dark Souls dar dodge move or you're not going to make it. And we want to try not to die on camera, obviously. That's another thing we want to try not to do. Barracudas are pretty resilient, too. Not just the alligator. It would be nice if I got some help from one or the other. Uh, my DPS seems to be pretty low. Okay, so we got that barracuda. We try to swim circles. It doesn't seem to work with the alligators, even though we obviously should be much more mobile. This seems like a very dangerous area. This game's not as easy as I thought it was, especially because we're not we're not even the level to be fighting the alligator. He's a level eight alligator, a raid boss alligator. We're hurting, so we want to try to take care of this barracuda. That's going to be our primary. Try to get some health back. We did that. Well, we got another alligator join the fray. Alright, we did get some health back though. This alligator is almost history. Okay. That's what we were looking for. Now, if you get him bounced in a corner like this, you can really do damage. And he can do damage too, obviously. But uh, we still have some pieces that we could eat from the other alligator to get our health back. And you just gotta just keep focused. You know, alligators can do damage. They have tremendous bite force. Their bite force is up there with some of the strongest. They're not very good at opening their mouths for some reason, but they can really chomp down. They will crush your bones off. Believe it. All right, let's hit the sonar. We still gotta, we're gonna have to wipe up a few of these groupers. I'm a big grouper fan. Uh, it's, it's actually a very tasty fish. Grouper is a very tasty fish. So, you know, there's no reason not to be cooking it at night. Oh yeah, just munching. We are really getting our money's worth here with Game Pass. Excellent little title here. Really surprised me. I thought it was going to be lame, but the, you know, the underwater environments are pretty cool. A little far-fetched, obviously. But, for the most part, it's a pretty cool experience. We'd like to kill some humans. We did get sidetracked there. So, we don't want to make this video too long. That's been a big problem of mine. You know, we get distracted, we're doing our quests, next thing you know, you've made the video too long, and, and people have, have given up long ago. And, you know, interaction is a key component to YouTube success, and if you're not interacting, uh, as a matter of fact, $5 in the tip jar immediately. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't, wasn't going to charge people to watch this, but... Uh, your support and general just general disregard for my channel has been appalling uh, you should be ashamed and uh, subscribe you know no big deal <laughs> yes catfish so we could probably do all sorts of leveling up but we haven't there's all sorts it's even, look at that, the dodge move out of water, you gotta love it. Could really a lot of freedom. We're getting that 60 frames, just masterful movement. Uh, you could, 
I don't know if you can put it on a different video mode. I haven't tried yet. I guess now is a good time to just take a look at it. We got nothing there. I wouldn't mind bringing the brightness up a little bit. Just for the video's sake, if that helps. But who fucks? You know? Everybody. Most people. And if you don't, it's best that you don't. Maybe. I don't know. I have no... I mean... I'm not the arbiter of that, you know, you have to, you'll have to talk to somebody else about that whole deal. I smell humans. I'm looking for human meat. Uh, does anybody know where I can find the closest human deli? So yeah, right now... We have one objective, and that is to maim, dismember, and cause terror. Oh. It looks like we found our first human victims. Out in the wild. Creatures. Looking at the humans. It was once thought that the deadly tiger shark, bull shark, was not a predator of man. Now... The evolutionary traits that they have obtained have allowed them not only a thirst for human flesh, but new ways to find it. Let's, let's start small here. Oh! Right on! Oh! Oh! Dismembered and maimed! I was out for a boat trip and all of a sudden, goddamn bull shark! And he was never he was never able to tell the story. Maimed and just oh oh geez. you can sink the boat guys after you kill just to rub it in you can sink the boat so any surviving family members will also lose the boat on top of a loved one. Oh see I thought that was like grand theft. I, man, I need to make a fish out of water like mod. Where you can like get on the jet skis as a shark and go around and sort of maybe like a um, maybe some kind of morphing ability where you can mimic a human and maybe appear as <laughs> a, a wave running human being but actually be a shark and you just get close enough to transform you lull them in with a false sense of security oh yeah General maiming of people. Oh! They are shocked. He is really trying. They had the new barriers up because of sharks like this, but they have been known to find ways over those barriers. Everybody ha- are you guys having a powwow? Oh yeah. Never thought you'd see that, did you? A new type of shark. He is- he is leaped <laughs> They are trying to have some s'mores. Oh, and that is the end of that camping expedition. Tell your friends. I spared you for a reason. Get your truck now. Everybody get the truck. You guys, you know what? I gave you a chance. I gave you a, a fighting chance. And now everybody's dead. Everybody. My health is starting to get low. Oh, it looks like we have now entered... Sharkville They are now hunting me. It looks like I have a star level like GTA now Okay, we're on the run Gotta get some health back One thing we don't want to do is die on stream. Oh, you can also release landmarks and view landmarks underwater by running your nose and or teeth into Landmark sign and they'll give you a little backstory of the area how it was formed Okay, we didn't want alligators. They're still looking for me, but I do need some health here. Another landmark. That's nice. We're unlocking achievements. Longest date ever. Poor couple. 
stealthy sneaking. I mean, I wouldn't be snorkeling around in this shit. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that immediately. All right, let's go back and let's try to finish off these humans the right way. Obviously, if you're, you know, if you have Game Pass, you you pick this up. It's a great game from what I played. I'm going to be playing a lot more. I don't know if I'll make another video of it because, you know, the 50 or so views that I do get, I don't want to tarnish that with more game, more of my masterful gameplay. So, you know, I was nice about it at least. Could have been a rude bastard. Oh. I sense a shock somewhere. It's a, it's a bloody, and it looks like these people didn't learn the first time quite literally just like five, two or three minutes ago i viciously maimed and attacked every human on this beach and i'm gonna do it again i mean and i will continue to do it until the until the ai learns that this is just an easy oh my god oh lord consumed consumed yeah, there's collectibles. There's all sorts of silly little things like that. I guess this is how you collect them. You actually go out of the water and then bite it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, other than that goofiness, it is still pretty cool being able to jump around, I guess, and eat people on the docks. But regardless, the environments are done well enough i skipped the beginning of the game like i said so sorry if i sort of started with resources there's also a fast travel system which is nice and it seems like there's a hot you have like a shark hideout you know uh, apparently i'm in combat though so i can't do it now yeah i'm still getting chased by barracudas i don't know why a barracuda would ever try that but yeah they're still after me I guess red arrow means still after. And maybe that'll be an issue too in the game. It's trying to get, trying to fast travel and there's predatory fish bothering you. Could be, you know, as a gamer, that could be annoying sometimes. Yeah, and there's another one. So you want to try, probably try to take out what's around you first. Uh, apparently, barracudas just never stop attacking, they never stop. That's a level one. I don't even. I feel like evolutionarily, evolutionarily, a creature shouldn't attack another creature that has no chance against. I guess if a, a school of barracuda teamed up, but a single barracuda. So that maybe that's a feature of the barracuda. It's tenacity or it's fortitude or willingness to go that extra mile to follow you in the water. I think I leveled up. I don't know what the hell that green shit is. Oh, it's some kind of... It's a part of the evolutionary chain process. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's about it. We'll fast travel over to our base here. <clears throat> I think it's the same Barracuda. Okay, we're going to fast travel now. And you're going to see what this is all about. I have discovered the miracle of self-love here. Let's see what we got. Chipper chips. Oh yeah, I am polluted. It's polluted in here, but whatever. You know, it's a it's a place to call home. I look forward to my meetings with these humans. I am gonna tear them to shreds. <laughs> Scrap pieces. <laughs> 